Hi guys, today is a special day. I'm here with my my very last customer. Okay, I don't know if this is my last customer, but I'm here with my Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> he left me! Look guys, I just needed one more delivery until I, I max out this delivery person job. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back here in a corn stock. Okay. <laughs> I thought we would, um, well, uh, this is kind of a dumb idea, but I thought I would try to make a house in the, in the cauldron right here. As you can see, I've been experimenting a little bit. So, uh, this is my build hack for a, um, inflatable kiddie pool. Uh, you just make the the cauldron really really wide and small and uh, you put a sphere shape inside of it And you get a nice little kitty pool. I don't know you can put stuff inside of it So I thought why not build a house inside a cauldron? This is the, your best idea you're gonna get from this video is this inflatable pool. Okay We're, we're here at my beautiful plot <laughs> it's in my empty canvas <laughs> It's not too new. We've had cauldrons before but yeah, we got this empty cauldron here I wish we could rescale it it a lot more than this but you know the game has its own limitations so i can understand it if it was a little bit bigger this would be even better but it's okay how are we gonna make this look good that's the really great question <laughs> i'm trying to think a cauldron house on the i didn't realize i mean i knew the idea was dumb in the first place but i didn't realize how actually dumb it was i've been trying to you know i'm trying to make some cool designs it's, uh, it's kind of remind me of like a summoning circle in a bit. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of a summoning circle or Mickey Mouse. See, this, this three here, this Mickey Mouse. I want to be able to move all of this all together. So I'm going to put this on a cube. Wait, do they even move on this? They don't. They don't move on this. A little decent. A little decent. Let me, let me just, uh, let me make some adjustments here. Still don't know where this is going uh, but now i added a little little garland here now imagine if you could rescale everything in this game i think this would work a lot better at least i don't have to like actually think <laughs> i don't have to think too hard unlike the bakery yesterday there needs to be something more with this i feel like i need to put like a torch up. i'm gonna make this look more demonic or something torch because you know witches they're all i mean witches are called witches for a reason they're, they have all these like spells you know they have they have these like rituals that they would perform these it's nothing surprising right oh wait maybe we can have like a little l-shaped type thing here there will be no sink all right you're not gonna be able to wash your dishes today but hey you'll be able to prepare some stuff wow i love how wow why does how does it work like that that's weird it's like has its own little level here so we can put the mini fridge there and then you can grab anything from there prepare the food cook it on the stove or bake whatever that's pretty good i mean this I, oh 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 there's no more level there anymore it like flattened itself out what i'm sad that was kind of cool <laughs> oh my gosh okay 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 i'm gonna be a bit smart with my spacing here so i'm gonna make a small couch with these ottomans because you can't sit on them thankfully and i will put like a small little tv in here like a little tv stand realistically i'm just gonna put a tiny tv in here i mean this is not in any way realistic at all okay let's get rid of these torches these look a little tacky it's kind of tacky honestly here you go <laughs> oh my gosh that's amazing <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and recolor some things, like maybe change some textures of stuff because that's the least I can do. And there you go. I, I changed up the textures. I did the bare minimum here. What is up with me these two days? <laughs> oh, 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 I kind of want to landscape a bit too. It makes a big difference. And we're gonna put a couple of mansard roofs around, just to, like terraform a little bit. Oh, oh, is this color? It is a grime color. So this is good practice for me. Sometimes when you do the most random things, it could turn out actually kind of decent. I actually want to do a video one day where I would practice my landscape. Like just a full on video, just landscaping. If I, that literally is a goal of mine that I want to get better at this year is I just work on landscaping. Let me know if you'd like to see that video because I could actually use the practice, but it's just me going to be messing with plants the entire time. Ooh, oh, <laughs> ooh, let's make these. These scarecrows look like they're gonna perform a ritual as well. Like they're just they're holding hands. They're like la 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 la. 
I want to do a bit of decorating too. You know, why not? Why not add a bit of decorating? We have a bit of space to more space to work with. So, you know, I'll put a trash can there. Can't have a nice little house without a plant. Okay, that's too big of a. It's very messy. Leaves here all season. Oh my god, the pumpkin men. They look like they're like um, cleaning up the leaves. I mean, technically it's like a broom, but um, pretend it's like a rake. You know, pretend it's a rake, and they're uh, cleaning up the leaves for us. It actually kind of looks decent now. Landscaping does change so much. All right, guys, welcome to my cauldron house. I literally put four to five cauldrons together and stuffed furniture inside each and every one of them. I called it a house. That is exactly what I did. So let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look, shall we? So here's the plot. Um, as you can see, I totally did some terraforming here. I made some bumps from the ground and called it, uh, and made it grass and called it a hill. But yeah, this is our actual house, you know? Why is there two more cauldrons back there? I don't know. But, um, the main cauldron area, the main housing area is, uh, right here. This is the main housing area. You got your bedroom here, your bedroom cauldron. You got your living room cauldron, your bathroom cauldron, and your kitchen cauldron. Yep. If they were able, if they, if we could scale these a little bit more bigger, Oh man, it would actually be really good, but that's okay. That's okay. And then just around is like, yeah, crazy landscaping. So let's go ahead and test this all out. This is a fully functional house, you know? You don't got a roof. I'm sleeping inside a cauldron. Someone's, someone's about to cook me up into a soup. They're gonna go, good soup, good soup. <laughs> Maybe nasty soup, because I stink. Then you got your um, living room cauldron here, you know, yeah, just your typical living room cauldron. And it's it's a it's a, it's a nice couch, okay? Nice couch, very small couch. Uh, and then you got your bathroom cauldron, just has a shower uh, and a toilet. Everything you could possibly need for a house. And the best place is the, the kitchen. So we got our mini fridge here. We can, you know, grab anything we like. Let's make like a pumpkin muffin. Stir it up. We can literally make a pumpkin, a batch of pumpkin muffins right now. Fully functional kitchen. Isn't it great? But yeah, it technically counts as a house because it's fully functional. You can get all your moods up here. Just fine. That's it. That's the only downside. No roof, no walls, no privacy, really. Uh, I'm, I'm just glad you could put things inside the cauldron. I've done weirder things. I made a house inside a playground. I made a house. What else have I done? I forget. I don't know. I built houses out of tables before. So this is really nothing too crazy. So yeah, it's okay. But anyway, guys, yeah, that is basically it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, you found it dumb, silly, inspiring in a way. <laughs> Make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free. Thank you all for taking the time right here to watch this and I will talk to you all in the next video. Stay healthy, stay safe, have a wonderful day. Pita Bread signing out. Goodbye everybody.